Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I've got some Star Wars Battlefront gameplay. I am so, so excited to go and show you guys because I've been hyped for this game for so, so long. I truly, truly wanted a good sequel to Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is still, to this day, one of my most favourite games of all time. So when I heard Battlefront was coming out and DICE was making it, I thought, is it just going to be Battlefield, you know, 4.2 or something along those lines? But I have to say that this game is really checking all of the boxes. However, there is some big, big flaws that I am also going to be talking about in this video. Now, the first thing I want to go and talk about is the graphics of this game. The graphics of Star Wars Battlefront is absolutely amazing. Never before in a video game has this universe been shown in such detail. That one of my best memories of playing this is literally just sitting. Just sitting, not touching my keyboard, and just looking out across the Battle of Hoth and seeing the lasers fly past, the ATATs, the ATSTs, all the little specks of the Imperial Stormtroopers, storm and it is literally just a joy to go and see how beautiful this game really is. And then you go and combine it with the actual combat and gameplay itself, and oh, it is, it is such an experience. Now, does the gameplay feel original? Well, not really. It does really feel like Battlefield 4.2. How the characters move and how you go and shoot your weapons and whatnot. Obviously, you're using laser weapons, but it feels really, really, really similar to Battlefield. And that is in no way a bad thing. Going and getting the engine really solid and then focusing around, uh, focusing the game around the other experiences you have, not so much going and killing people, but rather the massive battles, and the Battle of Hoth is such a good example, because it's so, so true to the movies, and you can go and play as like Darth Vader and whatnot, and Luke Skywalker, and you can go and simply just play as a Stormtrooper or a Rebel, you can take all these ro roles in the ATA ATST, in the ATAT, you can go and do all of it, and it's so, so cool. And even though it is very similar to Battlefield, you don't think about it in-game. You think of it as a Star Wars game rather than Battlefield 4.2, which is really, really cool. And that's one thing I was really worried about. But the experiences you have and all the different types of elements and the gameplay mechanics and the modes and the maps and whatnot, it really goes and comes together into an absolutely fantastic game. Now, there is a lot of flaws. The Battle of Hoth is extremely, extremely Imperial-sided. Legitimately, if you go and get any any foothold in the uh, Rebels base, then you've literally won the game. If you get in the Rebels defences, the Imperials get in the Rebels defences, it is just a murdering spree, as you can see on the screen right now. I got like 69 kills in that game, and it was just a bloodbath. But you can still win by using the triple orbital strike tactic while the shields are down, but that's really your only win condition, which is a little bit broken in my mind. Now, saying that, there is a couple of other stuff that that doesn't really work so well, but it is a beta. The spawns are a little bit broken. Spawning in on your partner when you're trying to do a 1v1 and the partner spawns in and now it turns suddenly into a 1v2, very, very frustrating. And when you try to go and find enemies, but there is just none to be found, you go one side, then you go to the other and the spawns just keep flipping, very frustrating as well. But that will all be ironed out in the full game. There's a lot more modes, there's a lot more guns, and honestly, I'm super, super excited for what is is the come. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Out.